scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, and who bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time it's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain thank you lord there are more possibilities in you and i open my heart even as your servant has shared my heart is open for more hallelujah Praise the Lord. Let's bless the Lord for it, Jimmy. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. You see, let me tell you something about spiritual growth. The one who seeks growth does not choose his diet. Are you getting what I'm saying? It is arrogance to want to rise to a dimension. And then want to choose what you want to eat. Have you seen parents force children? The child says, I want sweet. The mother says, you need pap. You see, let me tell you something. Um, while I sat down listening to him share these things, I was only hoping, hoping that we don't get familiar and just recite it back, but truly believe it. It's painful to have revelation that does not transcend into results in your life. It's frustrating. Because no man can correct you. You already know what you need. But the grace to make it work. This issue of transformation. You've, you've seen us drum this thing again and again. You know, I was almost honestly, it's just, I'm just up here to lead us to pray. Because for me, I think that this you will never hear it enough. It didn't take two services for you to get the wrong ideologies that are fighting your destiny. It will not take just a sermon. It will take repetition of new ideas. Repetition. 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 I was just thinking while on my way coming, I was saying, oh God, I pray that whatever is being shared before your people, they would listen they would believe. Please hear me. The person who ever makes you think what you are being taught here is a small issue has cheated you in your small way. Not even an armed robber has cheated you that way. If you steal my money or you steal wallet or hack my account, you've not done anything to me. But if you make me think in a certain way, and navigate my life towards destruction. You really have destroyed me. Are we together? People have lost their legs. People lost cars. People lost houses. They lost businesses. But something active within them. Reproduce those possibilities again. But let me tell you the truth. You can have everything. But a bankrupt mentality. And you will move no further than you are there. I'd like you to pray in one minute and say, Lord, this mind thing, I will give it no rest till I am radically transformed. Please pray. Never trivialize it. This is the key. Don't wait to listen to this message. After 10 years of misery, 10 years of trying, guessing, Brothers and sisters, I tell you the truth. This is how it works. It is the key. Shh.
Habarada bakata prate sekete balada balada bal. I thank my life, breathe on me. I look to you for. I thank my life, breathe on me. I thank my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. I thank my life, breathe on me. Let me tell you what is happening to many of us. You are sitting in a destiny time bomb. You know how someone sits in a time bomb? When you keep pumping a balloon, a time comes it cannot contain itself. The air you are putting in is too much for that space. And it will tear open. The sons of the prophet told the prophet, he said, where we meet with you is too small. You have enlarged our capacity beyond this level. Very soon, your level will start rejecting you. Something you are receiving, listen, is creating a reaction. You will not pray for it again. Something about your current level will start pushing you. Let me tell you how the pushing will come. It will come through criticism. Those around you can no longer stand it. They say, no, no, no. I'm, I'm pretending it, but now I can't take it again. new opportunities certain things will have to stretch and push you you are sitting on a time bomb and let me tell you something many of you will be remarkably shocked i get i get text messages from people who once had the privilege to be in this environment and be changed they call me all the time saying how can i thank you thank god i paid attention to this truth when you are lost, it is wise to listen to someone who has found his way. You see, most people do not even know what they need to succeed, but they will argue when they are given the keys. It's pride. It truly is pride. Let me show you a scripture. Acts chapter 13, verse 41. What a Jimmy shared just, it touched me. As though it wasn't me who preached it. 1341, please. You want to receive maximally from Koinonia, be a child. Be a child. This big manism, man of Godism, throw it out before you come in. Be a child. When you are humble enough to be mentored and to be shown the way, your life will rise like an edifice. It says, behold, despise us wander and perish he says for I will walk a walk in your days a walk which ye, which ye shall in no wise believe though a man declare it unto you I am doing something in a man's life like a trophy and he said a time will come I will walk a walk that when people hear that is the same you Aaron they will say, no, no, which Aaron? Aaron that I know. They said, is Saul also one of the prophets? When Samuel was talking to him, Saul did not argue. He was listening. Because Samuel was representing his future. Listen, listen, listen. Not everybody is where you are. So, they were once where you are. Find out what was done to rise. Not every key opens every door. That you are holding a key does not mean it can open every door. Some of us have left certain doors, but where you are now, you have never been there before. So listen, pay attention. The key you have opened the door you already passed, but now you are in a new territory. You are in a new environment. You know, while I was coming back from my meeting, I was just praying. I said, oh God, how pretty life can be when you allow the Holy Spirit to guide you the Bible says the Lord is my shepherd this is how I read it if the Lord is my shepherd if the Lord is my shepherd there is something about the leadership of the Spirit that you are filled with the Holy Spirit does not mean you have allowed him to lead you if the Lord is my shepherd then I shall not want he makes me he makes me he makes me 
he doesn't suggest he makes me to lie down in green pastures he restores my soul he guides me in the path of righteousness and he does all of that for his namesake so people just see me in green pastures people see me restored but they don't know that there is a force but the issue is are you willing to be led there are many stubborn people who want to succeed you hear them venting arrogance flattering their mediocrity brothers and sisters let me tell you what you are receiving cheap like this was not received cheap a huge price was paid you can argue this but i guarantee you if it is kingdom impact you want after many years of confusion you will return back to the same road and god will say you would have followed it long before now but now that you've gone around by yourself a journey of 40 days can become 40 years depending on your willingness to let god lead you it was never in god's mind for the journey from egypt to the land flowing with milk and honey to be 40 years there are many people who are adding trouble on trouble every time you disobey the voice of god you multiply your pain every time you disobey the voice of god you multiply sorrow upon your life listen i'm i'm talking to you from the depth of my heart please don't argue with the things you are receiving here it is foolishness You see me talking my heart out because I do not want us to fail. When your Christian experience does not have the kind of result it has, it's not only God, men will curse you. Jesus looked at the fig tree, expected that within this time range, certain things should happen in your life. And the painful part is most of our loved ones are depending on this. This is what our parents ignored because the knowledge was not scarce. They ignored it. And we paid the price of their ignorance. And if you ignore it, you are transferring the same thing to a generation. Are we together now? It's very important. I will walk a walk in your days. You know, years ago, the Lord told me something. The training that the Lord took me through was so stringent and painful. And I remember one time I said, God, why are you doing this to me? And he said, listen, there are different vessels. There is the clay. There is the wood. There is the silver. There is the gold. Do you know the clay can choose how much it will be transformed? You can actually tell God, stop here. And peg the limit of your impact. But for me... Please don't stop, please don't stop Till I look just like you Please don't stop, please don't stop Till I look just like you God is doing something powerful in my life God is doing something mighty in my life he won't stop, he won't stop Till I look just like him He won't stop, he won't stop Till I shine just like him Listen, if you ever want to walk in the anointing, this is it. If you ever want a life of solid impact, you want to tame life as if the devil does not exist, this is the key. The predictability that God's word brings to our life. Nobody successful was born successful. Even if he inherited it, he was trained to receive it. Nobody successful was born successful. Prayer point number one. We are praying. Father, make my life a sign and a wonder. I will not interrupt you. Don't let the pain, don't let the painful experience make me stop you. Regardless of what I say, focus on my spirit. My flesh may be willing. Are we together? Lift your voice and pray. Shh.
Habakata Barada Bakata. Through Joshua Selman, I will walk a walk through Koinonia. In and through my life. Hallelujah. Please give us Job 29 again. Let's let's go back to the scripture that Ejimi shared. Powerful scripture. Job 29. Please hurry up, media. Give us from verse 3. 3. Let's read down to 6. Just 3 verses. From verse 3. When his candle shined upon my head, and when by his light I walked through darkness. Verse 4. The result. As I was in the days of my youth, when the secret of the Lord was upon my tabernacle. Uh -huh. When the Almighty was with me, and when my children were round about me. Look at the results. When I washed my steps with butter, and the rock poured out rivers of oil. Read on. Continue. Now, this is what I'm looking for. Write down maybe to verse 10. When I went out to the gate through the city and I prepared my seat in the street, uh -huh, the young men saw me. And there was a reaction. What was the reaction? How can a man see another man and hide? The Bible said the nation shall see you and fear. There is a level you celebrate a man to a point you become afraid. You are like, no, 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 this, this one is not, I'm no longer clapping. He says the young men saw me, they hid. The only person you do this to is God. A man can become like God. The Bible says they saw Paul and Barnabas and they said, these Zeus and Hermes. Or they had to tear their clothes and say, we are human beings. What is it that God can do to a man that can make a man become like God? That your words become like God. Men have to advise themselves not to worship you. Because your life becomes so notable and extraordinary. He says the aged saw me. A young man. When an elder stands up. Listen. Listen. When an elder stands up before a young man. is a symbol of honor. An elder stand up. The glory of the old is their gray hair. But there is something a man can do that can make his father stand up. And he said, no, daddy, sit down. He said, me? No, not when you are here. Please hear me. There is such a thing as honor based on your grasping of the laws of the kingdom. That the aged can see you. You are young, but wisdom has made you old. Nine. The princes, you know the condition to be a prince? Trained in the palace, trained in the art of royalty. He said the princes refrain talking. They laid their hands on their mouth. This is not what they did. This is what they did. What a wonder. One more verse. The nobles had their peace and their tongue cleaved to. They are still arguing with you because your results are not notable. So when you say, they say, let's look at another angle. There is a dimension of the workings of the spirit through a man that will silence every accuser, no matter how arrogant they are. When you are anointed, rich, blessed, influential, let me see the devil that will argue with you. Listen, the Bible says, and Job is one thing to be rich and not be anointed. They can mock you with the anointing. It's another thing to be anointed and broke. The rich can bless you. But when God decides to fortify the dimensions of your life with honor, no nation can come from any dimension. Kabaratosia. Lord, turn me into a sign and a wonder. Lift your voice and pray. 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 Turn and a wonder. Tatalato Satabayada. A spiritual system that brings.
heaven's glory perpetually make sure you are praying turn me into a sign and a wonder God's portrait of wisdom God's portrait of grace Turn me into a sign and a wonder. Hallelujah. Galatians 1, verse 24. Galatians 1, verse 24. Listen. I want you to know that God is only glorified when the saints are glorified. I was seated here and I saw a Jimmy's wife moving, beautifully dressed. That's the glory of the husband. So you measure the responsibility and the honor of a husband by the reflection of his wife. Are we together? I want you to read that scripture wholeheartedly. One to read. One more time. Who was ultimately glorified? But who was the vessel? And they glorified God. When they saw the wisdom. They saw the excellence. When people said, ah, nobody can rise. And then you rise as if the devil does not exist. Perpetually smashing records. That men say this cannot be done. And you say, no, I don't know who the this is. But the Bible says with God. Without him, many things are not possible. But with God. And they glorified God. i like you to pray and say, Lord, use me as a tool. As a trophy for your glory. Lift your voice and pray. And they glorified God in Koinonia. And they glorified God. And they glorified God. But from your life but result the track record of an ending wonder upon another sabarada katabarada ba 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 rekata lekata la ba 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 saparoto sotobash embrekata reto sotekene ba 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 Glorified God in me, in me, son of a wonder. Hallelujah. 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 And they glorified God in me. Away with that, that rubbish thinking that God is not glorified when you rise. No. And they glorified God in me. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 14. This is our next prayer point. 1 Corinthians 2 14. God did something a few days ago in my life. He brought tears out of my eyes. See, eh, brothers and sisters, I want you to hear me, Koinonia. If you walk with God, you will never be ashamed. If, listen, if you choose to be spiritual and you are not ashamed, See, I tell you, this man you see has gone. Believe me, this man you see has gone. I know what I'm saying. You don't hear me speak like this. There is, there is what God can do in your life. You know this flight has taken never to come down again forever. He says, but the natural man 
receiveth not the things of the spirit of God for they are what? They are what? Another word for foolishness is nonsense. Neither can he know them because you must be spiritual to discern it. Listen, the things we do here are not intellectual at all. We break them down to give you the logic, but you have to be spiritual to walk with God. Many believers are too carnal to receive results. Are we together? We analyze spiritual things from a carnal point. Is it really true that by changing your mind, you t- no, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. You have to be spiritual. And you have to be spiritually minded. The Bible says, um, it says, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, right? Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Then it says, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus had set me free from the law of sin and death. Then he now says what the law could not do in that it was weak in the flesh and all of that. He says to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. There are too many believers that are carnal. Carnality is not just talking about fornication and drunkenness. No. Carnality is when you become so sensual that spiritual things look like a mockery to your intelligence. You are carnal. Go around Jericho seven times. I know what many of us would have done. Moses, stretch your rod. You say, no, no, no. We have building engineers. You didn't go to school for nothing. Let's begin to build a bridge and have donation let me tell you those who will survive in these times are those who i know you are educated and you are intelligent but brothers and sisters you must be spiritually minded this issue of saying no let's let's be serious let's be real let's be real if any man must ask me out let's be real i don't talk too much so i have to do facebook connection and and whatsapp and the rest To be carnally minded is death. Bring all your tithes, all these pastors, they just eat people's money. No, 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 sir. There are many people who are doing things that they don't really believe. It's not a conviction. They will only do it when everybody is around. But how you know you are spiritual is when you can do a thing supervised or not. Whether or not someone is watching you, you are tithing. Whether or not someone is watching you, you are... T- there, see, let me tell you, there's too much hypocrisy. That's why people don't get results. Believe what I'm telling you. Are we together? Listen to a message and transform your mind. Okay, sir. But you don't believe it. You don't believe it. And it never happens for people. Are we together? Wrong music, polluted music can plant seeds in your mind. Okay, sir, but we never do it. And so we junk all kinds of things in our spirits and wonder why the outcome is not. Let me tell you, those who get results are those who walk this thing genuinely under God. I'm not talking of perfection. I'm talking of sincerity and diligence. He said, now that you know these things, happy are ye if you do them. Are we together? I'd like us to pray. And you're going to say, Lord, this is my, this my scientific, over-exaggerated, um, um, analyzing your ways. I want to, I, I want, listen, listen. God says, I'm going to bless you. But then we, we have to pass God through our scientific system. Oh God, show me how it will happen. God, my God. Hi. Have you not learned in the Bible that it was foolish things that brought extraordinary results? 
That's why Jesus said, until you become like one of these little children. I'm telling you, many of us need to pray for grace to become like children. This adulthood has punished many of us. We are not malleable before God. We can't be children enough to receive. Every time the word of God comes, it meets a wall of arrogant argument to be spiritually minded is life and peace i'd like you to pray and say lord spiritualize my mentality i'm i'm tired of being carnal lift your voice and pray make me a spiritual man let me believe your word please make sure you are praying if you selling anointing then i believe Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be spiritually minded. Be spiritually minded. Be spiritually minded. Don't talk like a fool. There are people when you hear the way they speak, it's as if they don't know God. You speak like a Christian and go back and analyze things with utmost stupidity. We are talking about God here. The currency in heaven is the word of God. If I give you 1,000, hear me. If I give you 1,000 naira, I say, go and buy me something. You buy it. In heaven, God gives you his word and say, go and exchange it. And the Bible says, let it be done on earth. So go to heavenly currency. Take it and you are saying, Lord, I, I know, no. Will it work? The power that created the heavens. His word is if I give you this, I didn't speak, but you take it to a shop. Expecting a result. He says, so shall it be. My word that goeth forth. When I give you, when you say, Lord, bless me, he gives you his word. He says, if you take this word and believe it, take it and you will truly cash it. This is a word. Listen, let me tell you. My Bible says, he upholds all things by the word of his power many people do not believe the word of god you see this man standing before you i have carried this word as my life it's not an instrument for preaching i have seen it and believed it verbatim unto death that's what has brought the results that you see the word of god stupid statements from the word of god i believe you oh god no 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 i will not argue with you i don't need to know how it will happen let understanding follow but my faith will believe now many of our parents have thrown the word of god to look for this if i give you the word of god and i give you money you will choose money how foolish how foolish the word of god creates realities please believe me when i tell you this a spiritual man is not a man that prays in tongues necessarily. A spiritual man is, a, is somebody who has submitted to the authority of the word of God to govern his life entirely. If God said it, Joshua Selman believes it. My goodness. Forever, O oh Lord, thy word is settled. This word created the heavens and the earth. My life is too small for it not to create it. This word, when you believe it quarter to shame, God will arise for you. This is what brought the anointing to my life. You see, let me tell you, many of us study the Bible so that we can quote scriptures and deceive ourselves. No, sir. When you open this thing and see things like, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me. This is Jesus speaking. The works that I have done, he shall also do. Do you really believe it? He says, for by this faith, the elders obtained a good report. Through faith, we understand. You can understand through science. You understand through faith. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, everything you have spoken over my life, I believe. I don't know what made me doubt your word, but tonight I believe. Lift your voice and speak. But believe it. There is a blessedness of mockery. Let I 
cast away doubt. I cast away doubt. I'm a believer, a solid believer in a living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible is full of God's vow for your success. His vow. How many times did God swear by his name? By his name. He says your gates shall be continually open. That's what he said. Listen, many of ah, look, look, let me tell you. When, when you want to get results, please, I beg you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, stop running after men. I believe in destiny helpers, but it comes from above through men to you. It does not come from men. Every good and perfect gift comes from above, from above. I will lift up my eyes. Take the word of God. Lord, you said this. I can't be barren forever. Your word said this. They say I have no womb. That's what they said. They are practicing. Your word said that my children will surround my table. Listen, we are becoming fetish the more we ignore God's word. Believers are becoming fetish because they are looking for alternatives to God's word. Anything the word of God cannot do, I, I assure you, it will not be done. Are we together? Please take seriously what I'm saying. We really need to become spiritual men. Spiritual men are word addicts, not word quotas. Those who live by the word and even if they perish, that they perish with the word. And quarter to shame, you will see God alive to come and defend you. Jeremiah 1.12. Please give us Jeremiah 1.12. If we can get amplified, that's great. Otherwise, just give us King James. We're praying. Please, media, help us. Let's hurry up. Jeremiah 1 12. I want us to read it together. One to read. Then said the Lord unto me, Thou hast well seen. Aha. Uh -huh, for I will what? Who will perform it? You are not the person performing it. So when God says, I will bless you, leave the dynamics to him. Your job is to believe him and find out how he, just find out what is your part of the deal. Hi. I show you a cheap route to results. Some of these results you see, let me tell you, I don't even know how it happens. All I know is God speaks. I am stupid enough to believe him. And I watch together with the congregation the wonder working power of God. Help me to believe you. Kill unbelief from my life. Lift your voice and pray. I, by now, if my faith were alive, I doubt you too much. Help me. Help me. I don't believe. Hallelujah. Listen, listen, listen. Whatever makes you to ignore the word of God, let me be sincere with you, is destroying your destiny. Are we together? If you do not know what God has said, then you don't know how to commit him. God is only committed by his word, not your tears. He's moved by your tears, but he's committed by his word. Number three, 1 Corinthians 16 verse 9. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 9. We'll pray this and two more prayer points and we're done. But I want you to pray. These prayers will bring results in your life. I'd like us to read it. One, to read. Uh-huh. Oh, come on, read it as if you are alive.
for a great door an effectual a door of marriage is open a door of wealth is open but he says there are many adversaries and so what do you do you don't discuss with them you keep them where they belong there is a warfare dimension of prayer listen 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 the warfare dimension of prayer is when you engage the spirit and you engage the world to establish victories the warfare dimension of prayer is engaging the ministry of the spirit and engaging the power the supremacy of the world to deliver result you force compliance upon the strength of the world so you pray we are going to pray there are forces sitting on the gates of our destiny and say you must end this year like last year it's time to dislodge them open your mouth and prophesy come on engage engage the weapons of our warfare canal koinoni are you praying a great effectual a great a great to the anointing But there are many adversaries. I command every force to bow. I command every force to bow. Prophesy. Command in the name of the Lord Jesus. Destiny. The princes of darkness, I come and tell you by the mystery of the blood, by the mystery of the word, by the mystery of the spirit, I this Lord. Release my prosperity, release my blessing, release access. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Listen, hear me, brothers and sisters. Believe me when I tell you there is no victory without warfare. Anybody who lies to you, hear Joshua Selman say it. There is a place where you challenge gates. They are ancient gates. They stop your father. They will stop you if you let them. I like you to prophesy. Oh, lend you. Lift your voice and pray. Access to the destinies of men. I challenge you. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Was you praying? Listen. Listen. I am a living witness that Satan can be tired. Are we together? I am a living witness. Breakthrough occurs when the powers that sit upon your destiny are dislodged. It's not by discussion. Hear me. Crying may help you, but it does not help your situation. Are we together? Listen. There is a law in the spirit called the law of insistence. There was a woman in Luke 18 who was pleading a case before an unjust judge. The Bible said he feared neither God nor man. But she said, revenge me my adversary. There are powers that have taken what belong to you. You are going to stand before the parliament of heaven and say, God, you are not an unjust God. I place a demand. I place a demand. Lift your voice. I place a demand. Judgment. I place a demand judgment upon the wicked they killed my dreams I demand judgment upon the wicked by the fiery first anger of God I place a demand upon the justice system of heaven there must be judgment upon the issues of my life this large powers challenge thrones Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. 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 Do you know why many of us never get results? We give up too easily. We change prayer points foolishly. When you tell God this, you say, okay God, I bring it down. Whether big or small, it will still take God to do it. Are we together? I'd like you to pray. You are going to force the door of the next level to open. Listen, no door opens by itself. You force it. Lodge your power. Let the door be open. Lift your voice and pray. Don't influence. of greater grace those of greater power greater unction I command to the next level. I forcefully advance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, we have two more prayer points. And for me, this is the greatest prayer point we are about to pray this night now. Are we together? The Lord spoke to me and said, my people need divine direction. Many people are trapped because they don't know what to do. Confusion is the sign that a deceiver is in a place. One of the indices of the presence of the spirit of God is absolute clarity of purpose. 
Jeremiah 33 3. We are praying. Lamb of God, we worship you. Saparata kata pratikede. We worship you. Lamb of God, I worship you. Listen. One of the plots of hell, hear me. One of the plots of hell right now against the church is to manipulate every access for reception of direction so that the saints are confused. Hear me, I'm speaking to you prophetically. One of the plots of hell is to manipulate every access that believers use to receive direction. Dreams, visions, prophecies, the understanding of the word of God. Are we together? Satan knows that your solution is in your direction. For listen, listen, when I sent thee, lackest thou anything? When I sent thee, I gave you direction. I told you to go to the lost ship of Israel. Very clearly, when I sent thee, lackest thou anything? We send ourselves, we guess our way, we guess businesses, we guess job, we guess husband, we guess wife, we guess whatever. See, let me tell you this. That's why I, we pray for being spiritually minded. We are going to open portals for fresh access to the voice of God. Do you know a man can be grounded for 10 years because he has not had... And, and let me tell you something with believers. God has brought us to a place where if we don't hear God, we don't move. And Satan said, wow, this is strategy. I can take advantage of it. Since a Jimmy is bent on hearing God before moving, let me close every door for clarity. Have you seen three people bringing a prophetic word to the same person? Three different things. They are sincere, but it's a plot of darkness. And you are confused. You want to go into agriculture. You had agriculture. The next day, someone sends a word and says, sorry, are you a Jimmy? I don't know you, but I'm hearing God say you should go into aviation. Now, the person called your name, he did not know you. And at the end of it, we are left in confusion. The devil is a liar. No matter how he will masquerade it, my Bible says, call on to me. Listen, I will not show, you can guess to see any nonsense that you are seeing something from the realm of the spirit. Do you know, let me tell you, including believers, you stand the chance of being manipulated. No matter how accurate you are in interpretation, Satan can take advantage of the laws of the spirit and manipulate your vision. He said, what seest thou? He said, an almond tree. He said, you have seen correctly. A man can see wrongly. It doesn't mean you are demonic. There are ladies that threw away their husbands because the devil manipulated them into believing that's not their husband. And they sent him away. Are we together? There are people who threw away destiny helpers. There are some people, the devil uses the face of good people to oppress them in dreams. Have you seen people like that? A brother that wants to marry you, then he comes with a horn in a dream and stabs you and you get up and meet a prophet and the devil manipulates the prophet and he says that brother has a spirit. Your destiny is closed because of manipulation. We, we laugh about it but it's a dangerous thing. People are in hot water right now. Various places all around. We are sincere. We seek the voice of God. So Satan sends voices. But the Bible says, call unto me. What is the promise? What is the promise? How will I show that I have answered? I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Lord, where is my job? Where am I going to relocate? I am tired. Today I'm in Zaria. Next tomorrow I feel like going to Kano. I, I just wanted to ask this lady out. In two weeks I've seen this one now. I'm confused. It's not straight. Lift your voice and cry. And say Lord clear this confusion in my destiny. Lift your voice and pray. Please pray. Clear this confusion. I call on to you. Give me clarity. I will not take a step until you speak. So speak, oh God. 
and let me know you are the one speaking. Hey, na 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 hey, Call unto me and I will answer. Pray. Lord, I'm at my wit's end. I need direction. I need your voice. My next level is tied to your voice. My next level is tied to your voice. My next level is tied to your voice. Is the Holy Ghost Spirit of the Living God? Yeah. It's the Holy Ghost Scepter of the King of Kings. Yeah. It's the Holy Ghost Seal of the Age to Come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are praying. I know our time is gone, but please give me a few minutes. We have to flood this in out this night. The next prayer point is the grace to let the will of God be done in our lives. Listen, it's one thing for God to desire his will to be done, but are you willing to let him do it? He said, Father, if it be thy will, let this cup pass over. Nevertheless, not my will. Let me tell you why many of us may never move forward. We camp around a dimension. Our wills are so strong. We can never say, Lord, let your will be done. It is absolutely spiritual to say your will be done. Lord, I know, left for me, I want to be in Lagos. But every time you keep telling me, Kano, I don't know anybody there. I'm tired of arguing with you. Let your will be done. It is spiritual to let the will of God be done. Lord, I have vowed that I must marry a millionaire alone. But right now, as you are touching me, let your will be done. I've said if it's not shell, I will not walk. But I don't know your ways for me. But Lord, I say your will be done. Listen, if you pray this prayer with all your heart, you'll be surprised at the testimonies that will come. Lift your voice. Grace to let your will be done. Let me not be the barrier to my next level. Let my flesh not hinder me from rising. Let your will be done. No matter how painful, let your will be done. No matter how pleasant, let your will be done. I submit to your will. I submit to your will. I may not know what it is, but I permit it to happen in my life. Let your will be done. Over my career, pray. Let your will be done. Let your will be done. Pray, let your will be done. Psalms 23. Swallow your pride. Tonight, come to the school of the spirit. Don't you know in his hands are the keys to eternal life? A little here, a little there, soon your day will dawn. He's at work in you, changing everything. I'd like us to read the A part just before the semicolon. Are you ready? One, two, read. 
One more time. It didn't say the Lord is my escorter. Let me tell you something. The shepherd is the only one who knows where the food is. The sheep does not have that level of intelligence. Sheep does not have horn. It cannot fight. Its only defense is the presence of the shepherd. So he says the Lord. The Lord is my shepherd. And then he says I shall not want. The next line verse 2. He maketh me to lie down in what? Now this is where these three words. He leadeth me. One more time say it. Listen. There is a difference between guidance and leadership. You don't lead a man walking side by side by him. Uh -uh. You lead a man by setting the pace. How will you like God to precede you in everything? Including the doors that are closed. Let him walk to it first before you come. He leads me. For a man to lead you, you must have the submission to step back. And say, Lord, if I don't see you in front, I'm not going. I don't care how long that door is open. Listen. Many people ignore the leadership of the spirit. Number one leadership is what? His word, his bond towards your life. He leaded me. He led me. In this economic turmoil, you can guess your way around. You can just go ahead and start frying fish just because you think you want to eradicate poverty and suffer frying fish because his hand is not there. Are we together? You can stand up and start selling popcorn because everybody is selling popcorn. And your own is the one that will kill you and punish you. Because copying does not pay. People are led. People are led. Are we together? Everybody is entering a relationship. You just feel, I think I must enter. The day you enter a relationship is the day your life scatters into pieces. Because you are not led. There are too many people walking just based on instincts. There is a place for instincts. But I tell you, not in Nigeria today. Keep instincts aside. It may work in UK. It may work in Singapore. Nigeria's situation is a state of emergency. You must be led so that if you perish, you say, Lord, you said this. Let me tell you something. When you are challenged at the gate of destiny, your consolation and your support will be what God told you before you started the journey. So if he didn't tell you anything at that point, the devil will say, are you sure God told you? Every time Satan comes to people, he challenges the word of God. He told Eve, did God really say? He told Jesus, if you are the son of God, whereas God said, this is my beloved son. So when he comes to you, he will challenge the word of God. I'm giving us very solid prayer points that will produce results in your life. He leaded me. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, from tonight, I declare that I am the sheep of your pasture. Please lead me. I will not be a fellow shepherd with you. I am not, we are not two shepherds leading ourselves. You are the shepherd. I am the sheep. Pray. In business, you are the shepherd. I am the sheep. In marriage, you are the shepherd. I am the sheep. In ministry, you are the shepherd. I am the sheep. In my academics, you are the shepherd. I am the sheep. Lead me, oh God. Lead me, oh God, to green pastures. Lead me, oh God. Find direction. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bishop Oyedeko, among the seven different mysteries that he's taught the winner's family worldwide that is responsible for their result is the mystery of divine guidance. Are we together? Yeah. And 
the Lord told him that if you are committed to follow, then I will keep leading. If you are committed to follow, so he can get into a forest and God will say like he will say, this is the place. And he said, yes, Lord. For many of us, science is leading us. So they tell you, ratio of three to one, or six to one. For every one man, there are six ladies. Science is leading you. Because of that, you are in a desperate search. You wake up in the night, you are on Facebook, you are on WhatsApp, looking for everybody who is your tribesman, looking for everybody who, who knows your father or mother. It is an occultic way of trying to get your destiny because you open yourself to spirits. Are we together? Some of us is statistics and reports that one out of every hundred graduates is guaranteed to get a job within the first two years of graduation. Now that statistics, you can let it lead you and produce complacency and unseriousness. Another popular statistic it takes six years for any business to at least be established. It may be true, but you have an advantage. Are we together? Divine guidance. Listen, you must make a commitment tonight to halt with everything you are currently doing that you have not heard the voice of God. I don't care what it is. One lady met me one time, happily smiling, that she's preparing for marriage. As soon as she spoke, my heart was heavy. God didn't tell me anything. My heart was heavy. I knew she was entering hellfire. How I was going to tell this lady now, she won't listen. Because you see, when we are stubborn over our own wheels, God will step back. He's not a demon. And I told her, I said, my dear, I don't know who consulted with you, but there is serious trouble. This lady did not listen. Just driving ahead like, like, like a, a, a train without brake. That was how she went. And the next thing, when she got married, I think it was like four months, she found out that the man who married her was actually married somewhere. An irresponsible and a stupid man. He came down, cornered her head, deceived her parents, lied over things he was not doing. Lied about different things. Lied about qualifications. Lied about where and where he had worked. And so on and so forth. And deceived this lady. She sent me a text again. God is my witness. I'm sorry to have to say it publicly. I didn't even reply because I didn't know what to reply. Sometimes, let me tell you, don't say some things are better prevented than corrected. The correction will bring an eternal scar that you cannot claim. This is the word of God probably for somebody. All this rat race of doing it in the strength of the flesh. Why don't you depend on God? Are we together? You see the funny things Christians do for marriage, for money, for relevance. After praying in tongues, eight hours, ten hours, dry fasting, we, we mock ourselves. Please, listen, let me tell you. If you are for God, stand for Him. If you are not for God, stand for whatever you are standing for. If God cannot open a door, trying to open that door is a big frustration and it's foolishness. The door will open. That's the danger. But not by God. And it will destroy you and kill you. Divine direction. We need it in Nigeria. Many people are flying out of Abuja simply because there's no national cake again. The question is who told them to come here? And who is asking them to go now? Are we together? You may be running to a place you think is safety, but that's where the devil is waiting for you. And he will honor you dear and destroy your life. You've had strange testimonies of divine direction. God said this. God directed me through his word. God said take three days prayer and fasting. Say no, this can't be God. God forbid. God, God. You know, laziness. God said for one week, wake up by one o'clock every night and pray. But slumber, you snore away the key to your next level. That's why I told us, look, we have to be spiritual. Little instructions we used to obey before. Now we throw it away because of science. Now, that doesn't mean you get up and do stupid things. No. The spirit of God does not make you do stupid things. They may not make physical sense, 
but there will be a spiritual logic and the presence of God and the honor that it brings must be upon it. Instructions. The next, the key to your next level is in simple instructions. Do you know God can give you a simple instruction? After the service, just come and greet Sam. Lord, why should I greet him? You just come and greet him. At the point you are greeting him, you will stand close to somebody who is saying, there is a job employment, divine direction. And immediately you will apply and God will wipe your tears. God gave me an instruction last, I think last week. Just one, two, three, four. And I mean, that thing has, I would probably say has changed my life forever. Just a simple instruction. It's not in trying. It's not in hustling. It's in the word of the Lord. It's in the voice of God. Do you treasure his voice? One last prayer. And then we are going to round up. One last prayer. I believe in the anointing. Listen, I don't know how to tell you this thing. For every dimension of spiritual possibility, there is a grace that takes men there. Say there is a grace. Say it, there is a grace. There is a dimension of the anointing responsible for every result. You are going to cry before the God of heaven and say, Lord, the dimension of grace needed for this testimony I'm looking for it land upon my life. Lift your voice and pray. Don't be tired. We've just prayed for a few minutes. Pray. Lord, I need a breakthrough. But I realize that there is a level of unction that is responsible to deliver this kind of result. in you Jesus I have confidence in you every time and any day I have confidence in you Savior I have confidence in you Jesus 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 I have confidence in you Savior Savior You're my master Master Jesus Hallelujah We're rounding up my food to be everywhere so full of me water I may be a mortal man but let me get extraordinary results We may be mortal men, but embrace us with extraordinary results.
sing that part again. He would not suffer my food. I prophesy to someone here you will not see shame this year in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ listen I speak to you from the depth of my spirit every orchestration to bring shame and a mockery to the name of God upon your life I declare that by a wisdom you yourself cannot explain may my God turn it around may my God turn it around may my God turn it around I pray for you every confusion at this level of your life we bring it under the wisdom of Christ in the name of Jesus Christ any man who has said let us see may they see in the name of Jesus Christ the kind of result that will make even those who know you to ask you questions may the God of heaven give it to you yes some results yes some results tremendous results I want to pray just one more prayer I believe in the anointing for ease listen things do not have to be hard to mean you are moving forward. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Believe me, brothers and sisters, favor is a sign that God's presence is in a thing. There are some of us who are moving forward, but for every step, you pay for it. I want to pray for you. There, there is grace for ease. I have seen this. I know there is such an anointing where things can happen by divine pace, by divine orchestration. I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice. In the name of Jesus, I don't know what you have struggled to achieve. I release upon you grace for ease. I release upon you grace for ease. From tonight, easy results, sweatless results, easy results, sweatless results. Hallelujah. You will make a statement and the anointing will amplify it to bring results. Listen. Ease is based on a revelation that you are never alone. There are angels. There is favor. There is divine presence. There are destiny helpers. You have to be aware of all these advantages. Everyone shout, I am not alone say it i am not alone so stop doing things as if once it fails from your side it has failed listen i'm rounding up i'm sorry for taking time just give me one minute if i am in business with one two three four five six people how many people are in that business six if i fail and they are all responsible will it crumble it answer me do you know that the equation of your life, God has put himself inside? There are many divine things. So that, I'm not saying you should be careless, but you are so secured that even when you don't trust yourself, you are still covered. You are only one over many factors. i like you to say, Lord, I trust you. I cannot fail. Say it, I cannot fail. Because I am not alone. The favor of God, the wisdom of God, the presence of God is involved in my issue. Lift your hands and celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, our time is up, but give me a few minutes. I want to make an altar call now.
and then very important announcements please no one's leaving let's all stand please let's all stand in one minute our time is gone but there are people here who are saying man of God I need to know Jesus Christ I've been coming out for different altar calls but sincerely I have never taken God seriously and by this teaching tonight and this prayer session I am ready to completely surrender everything to Jesus. Others are saying, man of God, I need to rededicate my all. No playing games. I mean business with God. Please, in one minute, I like you wherever you are. Boldly make your way to the front. The devil is a liar. Don't wait for anybody to come. You are the first person. God bless you. God must be talking to someone tonight. Make your way to the front. Win that war tonight. God bless you. Someone is coming. I know he's not alone. Young and old. Make your way to the front. Those outside in the overflow. Those online connecting the spirit. Open up your heart. Keep clapping please. They are coming. Quickly, quickly. Jesus is giving you a new beginning. Jesus is giving you a new beginning. Jesus is giving you a new beginning. Please double up if you are coming. Those coming from outside, don't let the devil stop you. Make your way to the front quickly. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. If you're still coming, please come quickly and join them. Those of you who are out here, I congratulate you. This is a great decision. Lift your right hand high to the heavens and repeat this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you and I believe in you that you are the son of God. Tonight, I hand over my life completely to you be my savior be my lord i receive eternal life into my spirit from today i move higher and upwards in the name of jesus keep your hands lifted father bless these ones they have made a decision let it change their lives let it not be an emotional decision let this be the journey to an extraordinary destiny in the name of jesus Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please follow the gentleman just um, waving his hands. All of you, you have your details. Praise the Lord. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.